After years of complaints, the St. Louis Public Safety Committee is considering overhauling access to the City Justice Center. Five on your side's Holden Kerwicki joins us now in the newsroom with the latest details. Holden, what is behind this push for more access? Well, and it was just two months ago that a judge ordered Sheriff Vernon Betts and Commissioner of Corrections Jennifer Clemens Abdullah to allow attorneys access to their clients inside the City Justice Center. But they told the committee today that nothing has changed. There are currently 680 detainees at the City Justice Center. They are innocent until proven guilty. However, their defense attorneys claim they're not being given the proper access to their clients. It's been well documented and it's gotten to the point where even a judge has given an order. Just this week, I know that the judges were alerted again as to issues that the public defenders and other defense attorneys have had. Um, and it's unsustainable. After hearing these complaints for years, the City Public Safety Committee is considering two ordinances that would guarantee ordained clergy and attorneys access to their clients. Let's be clear why we're here. The St. Louis Justice Center is a cauldron of abuse and civil rights violations. Members of the Public Defender's Office testified that ongoing issues with the Paper Pass Office have denied them the ability to give their clients legal documents. They say there's a possibility that we are somehow smuggling contraband to our clients via paper, that we have perhaps dipped our paperwork in PCP or some other narcotic or drug. Multiple attorneys also testified that they were denied access to the jail because they had their phone or computer for discovery. These devices are essential to your defense. Though no action was taken by the committee on either ordinance, Attorney Javad Kazali outlined what would happen if changes aren't made. If the jail doesn't change, and if this body does not make the jail change, this will play out in one way, and that is with organizations like mine suing the jail and getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars of damages. Members of the committee said they invited both Sheriff Betts and Commissioner Clemens Abdullah to respond to these claims today, but they weren't at the hearing. If these ordinances pass, each could be fined up to $500 per denied entry at the City Justice Center. It is the 